let's roll. According to its creator, the goal of Muslim Massacre is to ensure that no Muslim man or woman is left alive. The computer game, which can be downloaded for free on the internet, sees players control an American soldier sent to wipe out all the Arabs who appear on screen. It's been condemned by Islamic groups as offensive and tasteless. It's easy to see why. The American soldier armed with a machine gun and rocket launcher is parachuted into the Middle East by slaughtering as many Arabs that appear, some dressed as terrorists, others who look like civilians. Players progress to later levels. Eventually, they take on Osama bin Laden, Mohammed, and finally Allah. As shocking as the game may seem, its creator, a freelance programmer from Brisbane, insists it's fun and funny. Others claim it's a comment, albeit a crude one, on what they see as America's pro-war policies. But Mohammed Shafiq from the Ramadan Foundation says that's just an excuse. Um, it glorifies the killing of Muslims, um, and we are deeply opposed to it. And if it was the other way around, and if this was a Muslim game about killing Israelis or Americans or British soldiers, you could imagine the uproar, and rightly so. So um, we would urge the um, internet service providers to try to take action against this. And we've written to the government to see whether the government can do anything about this. The game was first released in January this year, but is growing in popularity following several prominent blogs, including a comment from the game's creator, Sigvat. He's not responded to attempts to contact him, but on an internet message board discussing the game, he wrote... Anyone's free to believe whatever they want, because I don't even know how to interpret it myself. The bottom line is that I enjoyed making it, and it's fun to play. Meanwhile, Muslim massacres causing uproar among many shocked by yet another game that appears to glamorise violence. Islamic groups are insisting the download should be taken off the web.